Okay, we're going to have some fun with macros. This is a short video on how to use or create macros in the Keymouse software on Keymouse devices. So as you can see, I have the software open, and you do need to create your own layouts to assign macros. You cannot use macros on the preset layouts, as those are just defaults. If you want to make any changes, you have to create your own layouts. So I already have some layouts created here. I'm going to use, let's use the yellow layer. And I have an F20 key assigned here. The F13 through F24 function keys are the best keys to use for macros, as you don't have any interference with, if you're trying to use a letter or a symbol, you don't have any interference using those on any in anything. So I have assigned the F20 key here, and you do have to save to key mouse devices if you assign a blank key. So if you assigned like this one to F21, I would need to save to key mouse devices before I could assign a macro to a for the macro to work. So we have the F20 key assigned here. Right click on the key and you see the macro software level option. And for any text that you want to output, if you want to type a sentence or your name or even a paragraph, anything that you want to type that you type over and over, you can just simply type in the text box. So let's say we're going to just type this as a test and I'm going to test this in Notepad. So I click Save. As you can see, it put the little red dot on the key. That means there is a macro assigned to it. And we're going to open Notepad here. And so I press the function yellow key to get in the yellow layer, and then the F20 key. As you can see at output, this is a test from the text box. Now, if you want to create a command using any of these commands on the left side of the macro window, you can simply double click or drag and drop that command into this text box. Let's use an example of Alt plus F and X to close a window. So we're going to drag or double click, right Alt. So it's the right Alt key down, right Alt key up. So I'm going to enter an F and an X, and I want a pause between the F and X here. So we're going to double click this pause command. As you can see, it put between the F and the X. And if you want to pause for a certain amount of milliseconds, 1,000 milliseconds is equal to one second. So let's say we want to pause for half a second. So we're going to do 500 milliseconds. And so right alt down, F, pause for half a second, X, right alt up. In fact, we're going to lower this down. Let's go down to 150. So that would be 15 milliseconds. And we'll click Save here. Now I'm going to open the notepad. And it should close this window. So I press the function yellow the function 20 key, and as you can see, it closed the window. Now, there's a lot of options using any of the control keys. You can do monitor commands if you want to move from left to right monitor, uh, run commands if you want to open a program. Um, I'll show you an example. I have a macro assigned to the F13 key here, and what it does is it does control down, a, which selects all, control up, control down, control C. So if I'm basically selecting all, control C is a copy, and then run notepad. There's the run command, notepad.exe. Any programs that are not default in Windows, you have to put the file path here. So C drive, backslash, program files, etc and the .exe file on the end. And then there's a pause here of one 
150 or let's say 15 milliseconds or 150 milliseconds, control down, control V, control up. So this command here will select whatever I have selected, copy it, paste it, or copy it, open notepad, and then paste it in the notepad. And I'm going to just type something in a notepad here just to show the example. So I'm going to say this is a test. Okay, so I'm all I'm going to do now is press, I have the function, actually let's come back in here and cancel because I don't want to change anything. Let's open this notepad back up. And I'm going to press the F13 key, which is the function yellow, and this key. As you can see, it copied everything from this notepad, opened a new window, and pasted it. So, again, there are a lot of options, a lot of different things you can do with macros. These are just, this is a scratch on the surface for the options available.